Over the next seven days, I'm gonna try and become fluent in Spanish. However, there's one slight twist, and that twist is the only thing I use to help me is this. Oh, Miguel. Hello? Yo. Hola. Hello, bro. Do you speak Spanish? No, no. This is gonna be a long week. But here's what I'm doing. I only speak one language and I've always been so envious of bilingual people when I'd see them be able to talk to different people from different cultures and countries. Whilst I've always been relying on them knowing my language. And I watched this YouTuber called Jauma who can speak 15 plus languages. And I watched this video talking about how he learned all these different languages in the space of a year. And he said it was all down to speaking. Why speaking is important is because it forces your brain to do active recall. So you wanna be trying to speak from day one. And that's where Omegle comes in, a free website where you can video call with millions of people from all across the globe. However, it has a bit of a reputation for not being the best website but that's where the challenge comes in can i find something good out of this bad website and actually learn something from it before i started i did duolingo spanish test just to see what it rated me at and what spanish level it thought i was and then we're going to do it at the end of the week and see if i've improved you've placed in unit one so hopefully over the next week we can change that with the power of omegle so i set my interest to spanish and espanol and the search began now give me some spanish people hola ah huh? What's that? That's not a good start. Yep, this was just a taste of what was to come over the next week. And let's just say the first half an hour was rough. Hola. Hi. Do I hablo español? I can't speak Spanish. What, why does it say you like Spanish? Uh, Spanish people can't speak English. And I want to practice English. Why don't you just search English then? Hola. Hola. Get... Don't even let me finish my sentence. Hola. I'm not Spanish. Why not? Hola. Go f yourself, bro. Bro, are you serious right now? What the what, what is this website? Yep, yeah, that's the toxic side I was talking about earlier. And after that first half an hour, I was questioning if this was even gonna work. This might actually not be possible. I speak more Spanish than 90% of people on here. However, I persevered and help came. Hola. Hola. Do I hablo español? Un poquito. Bastante bien. Por qué? To be honest, bro, I don't speak Spanish. I'm trying to learn. Okay, me too. Let's speak Spanish. Soy de Inglaterra. ¿Y tú? Soy italiano. How do I say I'm trying to learn Spanish? Yo estoy estudiando español. I'm studying Spanish. Yo estoy estudiando español. Yo estudio. Estoy estudiando. And how, how could you say in Spanish, can you teach me Spanish? You know how to say that? Puede enseñarme español. Okay, I'm going to try to say that to someone. Bye -bye. Okay, yeah. adios. Bye bye. That guy's a legend. A legend indeed. And little did I know the phrase he gave us were gonna become vital in the upcoming week. Alright, hopefully this is a sign of change. Hola. Oh, you're famous. No, I'm not. Bro, you're George. I know you. Bro, you know me? Yes, you're a YouTuber. I'm doing a video. I'm trying to learn Spanish on Omegle, but... Put me in the video. Put me in the video. You want to be in the video? Yes. You know any? You know any words in Spanish? Like a single one? Maricón. What's that? It's, it's a cuss word. Oh, okay. You know any other words? <laughs> yeah, that was all he knew, but I said I put him in, so there you go. And the search continued. I matched with this guy who was pretty much a teacher. If you want to ask me, you ask me how long have I lived in England? Desde cuánto tiempo vives en Inglaterra? You can understand it? Mm. Desde science. Vives, live in, in Inglaterra. Sí. It's England. Spanish, it's, it's easy, but you can... You can practice. So practice is exactly what I did. I spoke to this guy for about 15 minutes just trying to learn from him and try and soak up as much Spanish knowledge as I could. How do you say uh, have a good day? Uh, que tengas un buen día. Día, day. Yeah, tengas, yeah. have, have okay. Que tengas un buen día. You, you also. Hola. 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 ¿Puedo enseñarme español? No hablo español. I'm learning Spanish. Oh, me too, bro. I'm a beginner. Oh, uh, me too, me too. Now, this actually surprised me. I wasn't the only one on Omegle trying to learn Spanish on it. And it wasn't only me and this guy either. Hola. Hola. ¿Puedo enseñarme español? No, nosotros es... Estudiamos español en mi sino se espera. Um, ¿Tú hablas el español? Poquito. Soy... Eh, no... Soy estudia, estudiando, ah, estudiando. Ah, 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 que tengas un buen día. Gracias. Tú también. Look at that. I used my first phrase I learned in the chat and they understood what I said. We were learning and we weren't the only people learning on this site. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Bien. ¿Y tú? Bien también. ¿Puedo enseñarme español? Sure. So, 
Uh, soy solo uh, hablo poquito. Yeah, and I want to improve my English so we can help each other, you know? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Now, once again, we'd found a really helpful person. So he was basically just speaking to me in English and I was trying to speak as much Spanish as I could. And anything I didn't know, I would ask him. Say, yeah. I said to you, um, mañana soy uh, jugar football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could say, yo uh, quiero hacerlo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's correct. You you understood me. <laughs> You're a good teacher. I was honestly shocked with how helpful the Omegle community were. And I was just soaking in all the information they were giving me. And we didn't stop there. Hola. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Uh, bien, ¿tú? Uh, estoy bien. Uh, ¿Usted es francés? Uh, yo vivo en Inglaterra. En Inglaterra. ¿Usted es uh, inglés entonces? Mi español es poquito. Alright, bro. Um, ¿Cómo te está yendo tu español? No sé. ¿No va bien? Porque usted parece poder entenderme. Bro, I'm not that complex yet. What I was saying, you know, parece means like parecer. Uh-uh. What, what does it mean? It means to appear. You know what usted means, right? No. Hey, what? Okay. Yeah, when Duolingo said I was level one, they wasn't lying. But this guy then just broke down the basic fundamentals for me and taught me a lot. And after talking for about 45 minutes, he gave me some advice. Here's how it works, right? You know, when you're a kid, you don't just grow like this. You don't grow one inch a year, right? It's in growth spurts. So when you're learning a language, it may be kind of tedious in the beginning, but the more you keep practicing and immersing yourself, I promise you one day, you're literally just gonna wake up and start hearing 80% of everything people tell you like clearly i promise okay okay and that was the end of day so one yeah it is now day two of the challenge i'm feeling good i'm feeling confident not confident in my spanish skills but confident that people know Beagle can teach you because yesterday there were actually some helpful people so hopefully we find some today as well let's head on to omegle hola hola i know you i remember you oh you're you here know? yesterday oh. yes I know that like you are yeah. searching for some for someone to learn new Spanish, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember you. Thanks, uh, have a great day. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow, bro. That is crazy. The first person I've got on day two, I literally spoke to on day one. So it seems there is some sort of like community around Omiku and learning languages. Hola. Hola. ¿Puedo enseñarme español? Sí, por supuesto. Um... Do you speak English? I do. <laughs> Alright, if I'm talking to someone and like right. I don't understand what they're saying and I want them mm -hmm. to like slow down, how would I say like, can you say that slower? Más lento, por favor. Más lento. Yeah, that's like a very easy way to say it. Gracias. You'll do great. Hasta luego. Yo. Hola. ¿De dónde eres tú? Inglaterra. Inglaterra. Oh, okay. So you speak English. Yeah, I speak English, but I'm trying to learn Spanish on here. Ah, okay. Do you need help? Yeah, do you speak Spanish? Yeah substantially. Now this guy was exactly what I needed. I felt like I was on a call with a genuine teacher. He was teaching me about all the different Spanish tenses and then was even explaining stuff using his iPad. We get the subject to and usted. I felt like I should be paying for this level of education. He even taught me a history of languages and where they all derived from just because he wanted to help. However, the Spanish was just becoming a lot. Oh my gosh, that conversation was about an hour long and it's kind of left me a bit mind blown. It's very overwhelming. So yeah, the reality of learning a language was starting to kick in. It wasn't easy. So I tried to just take it back to the basics. Hey, mira, mira. Gatos. Uno, dos. And one is Rex. Y, y una es Rex, sí. Hola. Hola. ¿Por qué tiene un Shrek atrás? Uh, más lento, más lento. Bueno, ¿por qué tenés a Shrek atrás tuyo? Ah, me gusta Shrek. And it was at this moment I realized not just English speakers love Shrek. Si soy estudiando español. Oh, okay. Me puedo casar con el Shrek de atrás. Mi mi amor Shrek. No, ese es mío. Tú? Yes, 
Shrek, amor, uh, mi... Uh, no, Shrek es mi amor platónico. Mi esposo. No, sí. no mío. No. Mío. You know what? If I learned one thing from this week, it's that Spanish Shrek fans are even crazier than the English ones. Yeah, with that, that was enough Omegle for one day. And we headed into day three. And straight away, I was surprised by a familiar face. Hola! Yep, remember this guy from day one? He was back again trying to learn some more English. And he basically recommended to me that it's really good to write a script so you know what sort of questions you want to ask. And then he wrote me a whole bunch of questions I could ask people if I had nothing to say. So I went to go and put it to good use. However, for the first time, I was going to realise how important pronunciation is. ¿Cuál es la com comida favorita de tu pe pez? ¿Pez? ¿Mi pez? Sí. No tengo mascotas. ¿Mascotas? ¿Mascota? ¿Pets? No, no, uh, de tu pez, pez? Pez, pez, es fish, fish. No, like this, de tu pez. Ah, de mi país. País. Yep, yeah, little tip for anyone out there that wants to speak Spanish. The way you say country is país. The way I said it sounded like, what's your fish's favorite food? But lesson learned, the search continued. Hola. Um, hola. ¿Cuál es la comida favorita de tu país? País. Ok, creo que la de mi país es el gallo pinto. Es arroz con frijoles, como junto, este, con huevo y se le pone como aguacate o, o cosas así. Ah, me gusta en España, me gusta paella. Uy, la paella, sí, es muy buena. Sí, I'm, I'm getting there with the conversations. I'm slowly getting better. They're very basic level ones, but it's a conversation nonetheless. Right, so with that, that is going to be the end of day three. A guy earlier did say to me that I should try and make myself a script and try and just talk to people and follow that script and see how that goes. So I think I'm going to do that a bit more tomorrow. It's just going to take a lot of time and a lot of practice. <sighs> another day, another Spanish lesson. Today I'm going to go for the script approach which someone told me yesterday. This is the script, this is how it's going to go. So I'm going to match with someone and I'm going to say, Hola, ¿qué tal? And they're then going to say, Muy bien, gracias tú. And then I'll say, Bien, gracias. ¿De dónde eres? And they'll say, Marruecos. Morocco. And I'll be like, Me gusta Morocco. ¿Qué ciudad? And they'll then say, What city? And I'll say, Soy de Inglaterra. Eh, yo, yo vivo en Londres. And then I'm going to ask them a question and say, ¿Cuál es la comida favorita de tu pa país? And then they should say, La comida favorita de mi país. Típica de mi país sea como uh, couscous. Couscous. Ah, me gusta. Which I'll reply again by saying con veggie, veggie, vegetales. Verduras. Sí. Verduras. Verduras. Which I'll reply mucho gusto y que tengas un buen día. Que tengas un buen día. Gracias. Gracias. There you go conversation right there. So to celebrate, I gave Shrek a bit of a makeover to follow the Spanish theme. And from here with the script, it ended up me talking to a lot less people, however, for a lot longer. So instead of having lots of short conversations, I was having less conversations, but much longer ones, which took up most of the day. And then for the rest of the day, I ended up watching Netflix. Cause I had this Google Chrome add-on, which helped you translate subtitles. So I tried to watch this Mexican film called Roma. And whilst watching it, I was going through and translating any words that I liked. I'm writing them down so I could use them tomorrow on Omegle, which takes us into day five. All right guys, so it's now the next day. Day five, as of right now, we're in the last few days, so we need to get as much Spanish in as possible. <sighs> Here we go again. Now, day five was very similar to day four. It was just a lot of me practicing my script. So I'm not going to show you that because there's a lot of me saying the same thing to different people. However, there was one quite interesting conversation, and that was with this guy. You like um, uh, electronic music? Uh, no, no mucho. No mucho. Which type of party you go? Pop music. Pop music. Oh, sí. I, I like it. I like it a lot. ¿Te gusta Harry Styles? Yeah, I like it a lot. Mira, momento, mira. Whoa. <laughs> What? Mira. You, how, how do you get that? You know Harry Styles? No, no. Eso es por YouTube video. Ah, uh, uh, you, you shot the the film video from Harry no, 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 no. Ah. Yeah, trying to explain how I've got this plaque is hard enough, let alone in Spanish, but eventually I managed to explain. So this should be to Harry Styles, she will be sí. sent to Harry Styles. Sí. <laughs> That's crazy. Sí. Nice, to, nice to meet you. Sí, mucho gusto. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Nos vemos. Sí. Hasta luego. And that was pretty much all that happened on Omegle on this day. However, in the evening, I had a revelation. So basically, right now, I'm just playing some FIFA, right? And I've realized you can change the language of the commentary on FIFA to Spanish. Literally, I'm still going to be having fun playing a game. I'm also going to be listening to the commentary and trying to work out what they're saying. Yeah, my life had been taken over by Spanish. Golazo! 
castle. But I wasn't mad. And I carried on playing for the rest of the night, which takes us into day six. All right, so it's now the next day. It's day six of the challenge, the penultimate day. I need to cram as much Spanish in today as possible, try and learn as much as I can, because tomorrow is the last day. So this day was just a lot of me practicing different phrases and asking different questions, trying to get more confident in talking. Hola, ¿cuántos años tú hablo español? Hace dos años. ¿Dónde tú estudiando? Estudiando en la escuela, pero yo continuaré a aprender. Sí. So I kept going through, talking to different people, asking different questions, and still trying to learn more Spanish words. How do you say rain? Yuva. Ah, uh, yuva, yuva. Uva y ne nieve. Nieve, sí. Nieve también. Uh, no, no ahora, pero... How do you say last week? Semana. Semana pasada. Semana pasada, nieve. Y ahora, u, u, u ves? Hola. Hey, you play Fortnite. Yo no play Fortnite. You don't, you don't speak Spanish, right? No, I, I, no I, I speak un poquito, pero I don't know how to say play. How do you say play in Spanish? Juego. Juego. Yo no juego Fortnite. Yo estudio uh, español. Boy, shut your goofy ass up. Soy de Inglaterra. <laughs> So why you have a Spain flag in the back? Mi amor España y mi amor Shrek. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, gotcha, 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 sí, gotcha, sí, gotcha. Sure. You, uh, like make videos in YouTube, like learning Spanish through Omega. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, for, you, you, for Yeah, you literally guessed it. Yeah, it took six days, but someone finally worked out what we were doing. And that was pretty much the end of day six. All right, guys, and with that, it's the final day. As you can see, I've dressed up for the occasion. Let's see who we meet today. And see if we can learn any more Spanish. Now, once again, on the final day, a lot of the conversations went the same way. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Hola. Hola. However, once we got past the introduction, each person we had a different conversation with, and I practiced different words and learned different things from them. Para tú es fácil español. Para mí el español es muy muy fácil, muy, sí. muy, pero el inglés es un poquito más difícil. Para mí español es muy difícil. Uh, difícil sí. Soy visitó Alicante. You, you need to say yo he, he visitado Alicante. Yo he visitado, visitado Alicante. Yes, yes, perfect. And with that, I kept talking to people for the rest of the day until finally the challenge was over. All right, and with that, the week is over. For the last seven days, I've been trying to learn as much Spanish as I can just using Omegle. I'm going to once then do the Duolingo test and see where it says we're at. At the start of the week, it said we were level one. So I'm hoping to at least be level two by now. So yeah, let's do this. Let's get started. Okay, already know some Spanish. Check your level here. Here we go. So I went through and did the test once again. It was the same test we did at the start, but with different questions. So it adapts to your right or wrong answers. So after about 10 minutes, I was finally done and it was time to reveal what my new level of Spanish was after spending one whole week learning on Omegle. Oh my gosh, you jumped ahead to unit 28. 28, that is literally crazy. I've gone from being level one to level 28 in a week. I know some people in the comments are probably gonna say it's not the best test because it is multiple choice, so you can just guess, but I did that at the start of the week and I got level one. So I clearly have made a lot of progress. Even if you just look at the start of the week, the conversations I was having, I would say like two things and then be like, do you speak English? I don't know any more Spanish. Whereas skip to the end of the week, I learned a lot of different phrases, a lot of different things to say, and I learned how to listen a bit better. If anyone out there wants to learn a new language, would I recommend you use Omegle? I'm not gonna lie. No, just because it's a weird website. I wouldn't recommend anyone goes on Omegle. However, I would say talking to people and actually having conversations and asking questions to people that know Spanish and also know English helped me so, so much because they could explain stuff to me in a way that Duolingo couldn't. But let me know what you guys thought. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought down below. And make sure you subscribe if you're not already because we're getting very close to 1 million subscribers. Yeah, guys, it's been George Mason. If you haven't enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason. Hasta luego. Adios. Over and out.